We're back here on the Lynn Hayes Freeland Show. Okay, so we met the mean girls. We met the other school girls. So now we meet the adults in this, uh, in this story. <laughs> the headmistress, and I'm not exactly sure how the former Ms. G Miss Ghana fits into this, but we're going to find out. <laughs> Shinnery? Shinnery. Shinnery. Mm -hmm. Now, all that time I got it right, I said I thank you for having an easy name. <laughs> and then, I, and then I messed it up. It's all right. Shinnery Jackson is the headmistress, mm -hmm. and Melissa Clark is the former Miss Ghana. Welcome to you two. Thank you. All right, headmistress. All right. What a job you have. Now, we've yes. met the schoolgirls and the mean girls. You got a job on your hands. Yes, I have to keep all of these girls in line. Yeah. <laughs> But who's, she, who's the hardest to keep in line? Oh they can't goodness. hear you, uh -oh. so. Well, in front of me, they are all very good. They have good uh -oh. masks on. Uh, okay. So the, the, these particular girls are my best. They're the smartest and the ones who are very outgoing. So I am always grooming them and teaching them and trying to get them to go in the right direction with their education being the first and foremost thing on their minds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm guessing because this story is set in Ghana, mm -hmm. um, I think most of us have this image that in Ghana, the education is the most important thing. Mm -hmm. uh, um, is that right? I mean, is that kind of the feel in this story? Yes, for my character, yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have, of course, outside influences of what is beauty and what do we think of beauty and what do what is the outside world saying about our beauty. Of course, those themes are in the play, too. So with this particular comp we bring in sort of those questions that all of the girls, including the headmistress, have to deal with. Okay, now, mm -hmm. and you hail from Florida. Mm -hmm. Jackson, so you Florida. came here specifically for this role? Yes. Mm -hmm. And is this your first time in Pittsburgh? No, I was here several years ago. Uh, they, the Pittsburgh Public Theater did Electra, and I was in the female chorus. Okay, so mm -hmm. this is your second, second time, time yes. in the city. Okay, so Melissa Clark. Uh, you went to Point Park. I did, yes. Okay, graduated. so you know the landscape here. Yeah. But while you know the landscape in Pittsburgh in terms of schoolgirls, mm -hmm. you are playing a former Miss Ghana. I am a Miss Ghana 1966, and she will not let you forget it. <laughs> Her name is <laughs> Eloise Amfonza, and yes, she's returning to Avery Girls', Girls School looking to find the new Miss Ghana 1986. And she's on a mission, and uh, she won't stop until she gets it. Uh, but she she has her sights set on one girl in particular, mm -hmm. Erica, and uh, that's because of the color of her skin. And that's when we dive into those themes of colorism within the play. Um, but Eloise is quite the character, and uh, she's willing to do any and anything to get what she wants. See, and I think that uh, the whole issue of the colorism in this story, mm -hmm. it fascinates me. Mm -hmm because that's also something that within our community, we all know it exists. Mm -hmm. We've all seen it, lived it, but we don't really want to talk about it. Yeah. That's what I find pretty fascinating about this story. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, well, Jocelyn Bio, she is the writer of uh, School Girls, and she got the idea from a true story of uh, Miss Ghana. I can't remember what the year was. Do you remember? I don't remember. Um, and uh, the person who won happened to be a fair-skinned person. Mm -hmm. And once she... Um, saw that, she was like, oh, I wonder, could I make something set in Ghana, um, which I think is her uh, parental, wh where her parents are from, mm -hmm. set in Ghana that has to do with colorism, but also has sort of a global theme by putting it with the Mean Girls idea mm. of um, just acceptance, beauty, high school girls trying to make it in the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And also, um, I find our relationship in the play very interesting because we were in high school at the same school, at Avery. Um, so she comes back into my world, and she ah, is sort of okay. my own schoolgirl, yeah. you know. Kind of so a rivalry ourselves. Yes, here. exactly. <laughs> because so. she is, after all, Miss Garner. Exactly. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> and I have, and she doesn't let you forget. Oh, it. never, <laughs> not once. <laughs> <Okay>. mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Yes, and that's the great thing about our director, Sharif, as well, is that she's allowed us as actors to pull from our own personal experiences. So in the developmental process of these rehearsals and getting ready from the show, mm -hmm. we can all share our experiences with colorism and those shifts and those moments um, in our development as girls, really, in these formative years that these girls are in the play, how they've affected us, and we hope that that translates to the audience as well. Yeah. Last question before I let you two go. So this is an all-female cast mm -hmm. and a female director. Mm -hmm. How cool is that? Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> so much fun. Yes. That says yeah. it all. Right, it really <laughs> it is great. All right, awesome. Thank you, ladies. Thank no you. problem. Thank we're you. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to tell you how you can get tickets, all that kind of good stuff. And there's one little more component of this. We're going to tell you all about that in just a minute. When a Lynn Hayes free lunch show continues, don't go away.